Hi, my name is Rumbi. I am an international student in Lublin, Poland, and I am in my final year nursing school. Today, I am going to be answering some of the frequently asked questions about studying nursing in Poland from a Nigerian's point of view. Please subscribe for more nursing related videos and also leave a comment. Let me know if you want to study nursing in Poland. so here is my instagram handle if you have any nursing school related questions don't hesitate write me in the dms like my brother here did so he has a few questions that i thought hmm, i should answer them in a video because i've seen these questions being asked frequently so his message reads good day i'm a nigerian and a medical personnel i am considering changing my specialty to nursing because of some personal reasons i watched biwom's video and she recommended you thank you girl <laughs> please i have a few questions so the first question is is it so important to learn polish language and how hard is it to learn the language i have great difficulty learning new languages <laughs> polish is hard <laughs> so i am going to answer this question in part form so the first part said is it so important to learn polish i am not going to come here and say yes it's important or no it's not important because if it turns out the other way in the future then you guys won't be happy but what i'm going to say is if you are sure that you want to work in poland after graduation then obviously you should learn polish if you are not sure where you would want to work after graduation then you should learn polish because you never know you might actually stay in poland so if you are any of those two people then you should learn polish i know that there are some countries in the eu not all of them but some that can take you if you do not have polish but if you have their language for example germany so at the moment there is an agent who is actually recruiting for germany uh people that actually have german b2 so if you have germany b2 and have graduated from poland you can actually go and work in poland without the need of learning polish language so i haven't done the research about other countries in the eu but i definitely know that germany will take you the second part of the question reads how hard is it to learn the language Polish language is, is hard, but it's a beautiful language. I love it. <laughs> I really, really love it. Um, I think that if you dedicate your time, if you are really focused, then you will become fluent like in no time. Polish is really, really beautiful. You know, there are a lot of sh 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 sounds <laughs> in the alphabet, but once you know how to read them, once you know how to recognize them and the sounds, then it will be easy for you to read any Polish text. But yeah, it's a bit hard, especially for um, English speakers. So if you are an English speaker already, learning Polish language as a new language will be difficult for you. So yeah, that's what I have to say about learning Polish, but it's a beautiful language. I encourage you all guys to learn Polish. The second question reads, although i have watched another video of yours about self-sponsoring if you guys haven't watched that video please go back and watch it i would really really appreciate it so i would like to know about the amount for proof of funds and how easy is it to send money from nigeria to poland and vice versa so sending money from nigeria to poland i would like to think that is the same as uh, my case from zimbabwe to poland 
So when I receive money from Zimbabwe, I receive it through Western Union. But you obviously know that there are some percentages that are, you know, charged when doing that transaction. So there is another way that we do it. And I've heard that it's the same with my Nigerian friends. So I actually asked my, one of my friends and they confirmed that, yes, that's what they do. So if somebody in Nigeria wants to send um, you money in Poland, they will transfer that money into your Nigerian account. So you now have the money in your Nigerian account. So you take that money and send it to somebody else in Nigeria who needs Nairas and then you receive euros or zwotis from somebody here in Poland. Let's say that my friend wants to send money back home uh, in Nigeria, uh, but they don't have the Nairas, but I have Nairas in my Nigerian account. So I will send the money from my Ni Nigerian account to the family of my friend's Nairas account again, and my friend will give me the money here. So it will be like, I'm doing the transaction for my friend in Nigeria. So it will be square, square. I'll have the money from my friend and his, fam his or her family will have the money um, from my Naira's account. I hope that you guys understood that. <laughs> but yeah, that's how we do it. Um, as for the funds for applying for visa, in Zimbabwe, Pretoria to be exact, South Africa, that's where the embassy is, the amount that you should have as proof of funds should be at least at least five thousand us dollars i would like to believe that it's the same uh, throughout africa so you should have at least five thousand us dollars in your account as proof of funds the third question reads which nursing university would you recommend for someone with low budget i'm a family man so the cheapest university for international students studying nursing in English is Vincent Paul University in Lublin, and that's where I study at. But there are other government universities that offer nursing in English for international students, but the thing is they do not have an intake every year. So you would have to do your research and find out if that particular school you want has an intake uh, at the moment that you want to apply. If it doesn't, then you will come to Lublin at Vincent Paul University. So the next question reads, how easy is it to get job after as a nurse in Poland after graduation? For you to work in Poland as a nurse, you should have two things. I've mentioned this before in one of the nursing uh, videos. I'll leave a link and you guys can go back and watch it. But you need to have two things your certificate that you get when you graduate and Polish language certificate at B1 level. That's the minimum. So this hasn't been done because so far I know of three classes only that have graduated as international students studying nursing in Poland. So nobody has done it before, but on paper, it is written that if you have these two things, then getting a job in Poland shouldn't be difficult because that's what they need to register you as a nurse. And once you're registered, you can go and work anywhere in Poland. So I would advise you to learn Polish so that you can be a registered nurse in Poland so that you can work in Poland. So the last question reads, lastly, any possibility of PR after graduation? long-term plan anyway thanks for your time <laughs> so this is what happens when you graduate you do not apply for a permanent residence straight away you first of all apply for a temporary residence that is valid for nine months only so the purpose of this temporary residence that is only valid for a short time is for you to look for a job if you don't get a job within those nine months then you should go back to your country. But if you get that job, then your employer will help you to apply for another temporary residence card that is valid for three years. So now, uh, after getting that temporary residence card that is valid for three years, you apply for another one, a second one, that is valid again for three years. 
only after these two temporary residence uh, cards are you allowed to apply for permanent residence. In other words, to be eligible for you to apply for a permanent residence, you should have uninterrupted stay in Poland. That's what they call it. Uh, you should stay in Poland for five years and within those five years, you should not leave Poland for more than five, no, six months. So if you decide to go back maybe to your country, you should not go there for more than six months. You should come back before the six months. Otherwise, you would have to start again counting the five years. Also, when you leave Poland to go to another country visiting or maybe to your home, uh, those months that you spend away from Poland during the five-year period, when they are added together, those months, they should not exceed 10 months. Otherwise, you will start again uh, counting from year one. So those are the requirements for you to get a permanent residence here in Poland. And after getting the permanent residence, uh, you can now go on to apply for citizenship after 10 years in Poland without the interrupted stays, you know, just the same as uh, permanent residence. So that's it. I hope that all this information has helped you guys understand um you know life in poland if you have any other questions please don't hesitate comment down below or you know just dm me on my instagram i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to like and share the video